brought Jimmy down here to clean them out a little bit. And uh, we sprung a leak in our lower radiator hose. Looks like this new belt's started rubbing on it. Time to go get lower radiator hose. Jimmy has quite a bit of moisture in him. So we got a couple cords running over for heater and the air conditioner. Alright, starting with a completely empty tank, so let's see how much moisture we can get out of here. pretty warm in here I'd say maybe about 80 and it's feeling dry as a bone already it's only been a couple hours I can't see how much water is in there right now but we'll check it when it's all done and uh, I'll still leave it running all day make sure I get everything let's actually get this plastic bag out of here that will or can potentially trap some moisture underneath of it yeah and it's surely wet right there Nowhere else, so let's just set that here. All right, I let this go for about 24 hours. Got things dried out very good. Foggy night tonight. We're starting our day late with this repair. And we have a leaky lower radiator hose because it was rubbing on that belt, which goes around the smog pump there. Uh, it is not rubbing now, so it seems to be an issue with that old hose um, stretching out when the coolant system gets up to pressure, or gets up to temperature and builds pressure. Uh, it's either that or it's because the belt is too big. We got a V belt here that came with the truck and it is uh, kind of on the thick side. So I went to the auto parts store and asked for some new belts, new belts all around. And they uh, gave me some that were pretty skinny. So I think that must be a tractor belt or something. I don't know. I didn't realize these came in thick and skinny sizes. Um, but uh, yeah, we got some new belts and a new lower radiator hose, although the sh uh, shaped one was going to need to be ordered. So I just got the universal hose and we'll see how well that works. It might actually give me enough clearance down past that pulley. So we'll see about that. Also got some, got this cooling system cleaner. So uh, we'll drain the old stuff and try this out. Let's see how that good that works. Got the lower radiator hose, which is a universal hose. Can bend in any direction. Here's the original alternator belt. A lot skinnier than what's in there right now. And it sits below the pulley's edge. This sits above. This belt sits above the pulley edge. So I don't know if there's automotive belts and tractor belts or something. I don't know what the difference is. The older alternator belt has grooves on the top. The newer belts have grooves on the bottom. They're also skinny. So, got all the belts. Can 
can see the uh, radiator drain there. Got a little hose attached to it. Pops right out there at the bottom. That is handy. Let's see if it even works. I did previously soak this down with some WD-40. Okay, I'm not really sure where my PB blaster is, but uh, let's see if I could spin it. Yep, it's turning. See if it uh, see if it even drains. It's probably not even gonna drain. All clogged up. All right, gotta do this the hard way. I'll take off the big hose. Okay, so we'll just be taking off that hose right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the scoop off of here. That's that is getting in the way. I'm trying to work under, the, under this truck, so we'll take it off temporarily. There's only two bolts. We'll save that in the back. I doubt this will be. Uh, I doubt this is really needed unless you're towing something. So I should be okay taking that off. That's a neighbor does. Couple of black labs, or I'm not sure what they were, but a couple of dogs just walked up on me out of the shadows. It scared the living crap out of me. I looked over and saw two sets of eyes just right at my. There they are. Two dogs just scaring the crap out of me. And colors on them, so they must be the neighbor's dogs. But yeah, holy moly, that I haven't had a good jump scare in a while. Just a random visit from a couple of dogs. Freaking 10 o'clock at night. Transmission cooler, oil cooler. Okay. Now we can see the other part of the hose. Oh, and that's not easy to get to. Uh, probably go through the fan. This clamp is looking kind of crusty, so let's spritz it with some WD. Let's help it out a little bit. Okay. Might not have needed it, but I like pre soaking stuff in WD, it always helps. Okay, I can just barely see that from here.
leave the radi radiator cap on so things don't come flowing out too quickly. Although it's probably still gonna make a mess, but there we go. Ooh, that looks very dirty. Two five five three zero on the universal hose. <laughs> Probably have to go up below or go up above and uh, help that pry on that with a flathead or something. Yep, that's going, I think, yeah. Is it? I think it is. Some pretty nasty coolant. Ah. Oh, that one. Oh. It's got one of the springs inside of it that uh, seems to have started corroding. Not the best fit, but it's on there. Universal hoses kink up really easy, but they do sometimes reshape themselves when they heat up and the rubber gets soft. So we'll see how that looks after running it for a little bit, but that did give me a whole lot of clearance under that pulley, which is awesome. So I'm gonna hold off on doing anything with that for right now. We'll just work on the coolant system, give it a flush. Um, all right, we got a flush kit and some cooling system cleaner. Shall also take this out and clean it. in there, that's for sure.
Must have bumped it or something. Yeah, look at that, it's wiggling. Let's see if I can get a half a turn out of this one. All right, got all that coolant drained, water drained off. I don't think it's going to freeze tonight, but I don't want to take any chances, so got that all drained out. And I'm gonna wait for this weather to lighten up a little bit. And it's getting dark out, so we'll continue this tomorrow. I'm also going to try and blow out that drain on the radiator. See if I can't blow it out with some compressed air. Because that would be handy to get that working again. cleared it right up. Okay, we want to put this on the heater inlet hose. It's going to be the one that goes from the engine block to the heater core.
so we will let this flush the engine until the water runs clean. And then we'll move the clamp over and flush the heater core until it runs clean. Let's go grab another bucket. Taking forever. Big clean. But it's working. It's steaming, but it's not that hot. It's like warm. I can't remember if this process calls for the engine to be running, but I like doing it just to help kind of stir things up and warm it up, break things loose. Still going, still dirty. So once that runs clear, move the clamp over, flush the heater core, and we'll put some cleaner in it. Let's see how much cleaner we can get this. Yeah, here we go, we got some nastiness in it. We got this coolant system cleaner. It says to put the whole bottle in and fill the rest up with water. Run engine for three to six hours. Assume there's some kind of anti-boiling component to this because straight water is just gonna boil. I guess we'll see what happens. injector cleaner in it that might help the carburetor which might help the carburetor I'm not sure but it's got cleaner in it about an hour in and I decided to go ahead and cut the step off it just uh, definitely wasn't stock 
hung down too low not good for clearance as soon as I drive over something's gonna rip it right off and dent up the side of the truck um, we'll leave the brackets just to keep the holes plugged up and uh, if the next person really wants that they could weld it back on but that looks so much better That's been running for about three hours now. Let's go ahead and shut it off and let it cool. Okay, let's give that about an hour to cool down and then we'll flush it one more time. Definitely looking brown again. That's pretty nasty though, that cleaning stuff definitely did its job. water some kind of chemical in it oh boy that is some brown stuff right there boy need to find me some more empty jugs okay if that was closed let's just start flush until it flushes clear
All right, we got that water coming out crystal clear. Looking great. All right, we're gonna drain out the remaining hose water by that radiator uh, valve. What are you gonna call that drain valve? Then we'll take off the big hose down there. There's also a drain on the engine block, so that's usually kind of hard to get to. And if you can't get it back in for whatever reason, uh, you'll be in a lot of trouble. And if I haven't mentioned yet, I will be replacing that um, lower radiator hose here um, with a proper, with the appropriate replacement. I'll take this in and make sure I get an exact match. I don't like the way that universal fits, so we'll set that aside and swap that out later. We'll keep that universal as a spare. Okay, lower hose reattached. Hose clamp is on good and tight. And I scoot, went ahead and scooted up here and found the engine, uh, the block. That drain for the coolant, and yeah, that's I'm not messing with that. If I get that out and I can't get it back in, that would be bad news. If I had a warehouse and an engine hoist, a way to, I don't know, a better backup plan if something goes wrong, I might chance it, but... So let's leave that alone, it's probably fine. Ooh, that one's looking actually a whole lot better and is a lot easier to get to. Hmm, that of my chance. Let's stick a socket on there, see that cut. No, I still don't know if I really want to mess with that. Um, 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 um. Yeah, that drain plug is looking pretty decent, I, uh, but I'm still not going to chance it. There'll probably be a future flush coming up, possibly, unless I sell it. And we could do it then, but for right now, let's just call it good for this initial flush, and uh, next time we do a flush, we'll do a... Um, We'll pull the drain plug here, but I don't think it's really necessary. So let's just play it on the safe side. Turns out the reservoir is cracked. Okay, antifreeze leak, and I could not see where it was coming from. And I realized it was coming from over here on the side of the truck. So I'll have to see if we can find a new one of these for now. Let me just find me a bottle or something. So putting the rest of this or most of it back into a jug gave me. So I used three gallons of coolant in this truck. 
yeah, let's go find a bottle for now, or maybe I'll use I'll use one of these for old flow. Something that's probably too big. Alright, that's what I'm doing for a temporary reservoir. Got old soda pop bottle and drill the hole. That is somewhat loose so it can breathe. A couple zip ties so it stays in place. And I'll just go on just like that. Get some fluid in there. Alright, it's not a whole lot of room for fluid to come in and out, but it might be enough. We'll find out. Zip tie that in place down there. Keep it uh, from flopping around. Alright, that should stay put. If there's not enough volume in the top of this jar, I might take the the old cap off and just stick the whole this whole hose in there and get it in deeper. So there's more room for it to uh, fill and drain. But uh, let's just see how that does. Coolant flushed, lower radiator hose replaced. We'll get a proper one here eventually when I can afford it. And yeah, I'd say that job is done. Fresh coolant, no more leaks. Looking good. We also got plates. Jimmy is insured, registered. Got the title finally in the mail. I dare say Jimmy is ready for his first test drive on the road. His maiden voyage coming up. Stay tuned.